Hello and welcome everybody to 2KCW Feel the Bang. We are coming to you from the Kessler Athletic Center here in Buffalo, New York. We are taking over the city of Buffalo. Obviously we got Feel the Bang here in the Kessler Center. Then just 10 minutes down the street, down in the Key Bank Center, is going to be Winner's Wrath. We're kicking things off here with our tag team title match. The Elements Frostbite and Heat Stroke will be taking on the Awakening. The seemingly unbeatable Awakening. The Elements have been riding on momentum here lately. Even Frost, honestly, both members appearing on Strike Zone. In a losing effort to one half of the current tag team champions, Primo Cologne. But a great showing for Frostbite and the Elements. The Elements earned this opportunity by defeating the Red River Connection several weeks ago in a Tornado Tag Team match. And here comes the Awakening without Akira Yamashita. That is a interesting point to notice that she is not going to be accompanying them at ringside will that make a difference here let we'll the wait and find out this will be a title defense number four for the awakening if they are able to retain their tag team titles Here at Field the Bang, our first event for the new year, 2022. And there we go, the tag titles on the line. While we only have a three-match card tonight, it is worth noting that the women will be in the main event for the Women's Championship. Tia Green, the number one contender and the champion, the undefeated champion, Dizzy Jet. So here we go, Frostbite and Yamashita. Or excuse me, Kira Matsumoto starting things off here. Running drop kick by Matsumoto. He's choking the life out of Frostbite right now. Referee's got to possibly get in there and break things up if this continues. Frostbite with an arm drag counter. So a bit of a step up in Zaguri there. From grounded position. Frostbite fabled to fight out of the corner, was looking to make a tag. And a flying forearm right to the face of Matsumoto. Now into a arm trap submission hold here. Very different. Now Matsumoto, Matsumoto with a neck breaker. To the corner. Running around we go. Jushin not able to get himself tagged into the match. And same thing here with Heat Stroke. Unable to get himself tagged in. Kick to the gut and then a running dro low drop kick into the corner by to Frostbite from Matsumoto. Cover here by Matsumoto. Two count, Frostbite with a kick out. Heat stroke there to break up the pin if needed. And Frostbite and Matsumoto going at it here. Series of kicks from Matsumoto. And setting him up for the Dragon's Breath. Into the cover to retain the titles this quickly. No, Heat Stroke breaks it up. And both members of the Awakening were, were trying to chase off Heat Stroke. Frostbite able to take advantage for the moment. Uppercut. Outside right kick. And now wrenching the arm on the top 
Top rope. Now Frostbite with a tilt to whirl. Fujiwara arm bars. This is how they defeated the Sea Batteries last week in their warm up match to here to get to in this for this match. Tapped out Curtis Christian with that Fujiwara arm bar. Tag made. Here comes Jushin Sakamoto. The other half of the tag team champions. Spine buster, leg drop. Combination cover here. Never seen that before out of the awakening. A drop kick to the back of the head. A frostbite. Frostbite desperately needs to make a tag here to heat stroke. If they want this match to continue. Frostbite looks like he's trying to do so by isolating Sakamoto away from Matsumoto. Now a standing Spanish fly. Frostbite trying to gain his regain his composure here a little bit. Again, he's been in he's been in this match since the beginning. And now into an arm bar. Armbar here on Sakamoto. So I'm going to roll over onto his stomach. Take the pressure off the elbow. And now half and half suplex. And again, Frostbite needing to make a tag to his cousin Heatstroke. Here comes Heatstroke. I'm going to say, pardon the pun, firing on all cylinders, but. That momentum was stopped. Sweet neck breaker by Sakamoto. Now working the neck of Heat Stroke. Heat Stroke, the fresher competitor in this matchup. Arm drag counter. Looking for a clothesline. Instead, go gets introduced to the top rope there. Corner flying forearm connects into the Northern Lights suplex. And tag made. Here comes Akira Matsumoto. Into the corner, Matsumoto. Looking for something there. Heat stroke able to backfire with back elbow into the DDT. Fingers well underneath the bottom rope. Heat stroke. Looking for something here. Collar and elbow tie up. Lots of mode able to shake him off. Now control. Controlling the back of the neck. Interesting not to go into his own corner. Instead of going more towards the elements. What's he going for? An elevated flatliner from the top rope. No protection in there. Just going face first into the mat. And now Matsumoto again. Did it to the frostbite, doing it to the heat stroke, dragon's breath. Not great position. Gonna go for the cover regardless. To retain the titles, frostbite breaks it up. This matchup continues. And now Matsumoto just sharing words with frostbite in regards to trying to finish the match here. Heat stroke with a jawbreaker. Stop up in Zagiri. So a kick right to the back of the head. Countered by Matsumoto. Matsumoto with a series of kicks right to the head of Heat Stroke. Going on fumes right now. You can see the exhaustion on Matsumoto. He 
He's sort of trying to get a tag team, trying to get a move in there with Frostbite, but goes for the Death Valley driver instead. Cover here by Heatstroke to possibly win the tag team titles here. No kick out by Matsumoto. Great tag team match we have here to kick off. Feel the bang. Trying to get another maneuver in there with Frostbite. Not able to succeed. A series of strikes back and forth we go. Delta World DDT from Matsumoto. Matsumoto going up to the top turnbuckle. Heat stroke trying to make a tag. No. Unsuccessful on both accounts. Tag mater comes frostbite. Spinning back kick countered and caught by caught and then countered by Frostbite. To the Dragon Screw takedown. Tag made. Here comes Sakamoto. Back elbow caught by Frostbite. Frostbite going for the power bomb. Cover here. And they've done it. The elements are your new tag team champions the elements frostbite and heat stroke have knocked off the tag team champions and the most likely unlikely turn of events off a power bomb The Elements are your new 2KCW Tag Team Champions. We'll take a look at the replays throughout this match. And again, if, uh, if Yamashita was out here, would that have made the difference? I guess we'll never know. I mean, in their successful title defenses, yes, she's been out here before, but... Sure, they've proven otherwise, but congratulations to the new tag team champions. Frostbite and Heatstroke. Well deserved, gentlemen. What a way to kick off the new year with new tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, come up next. Ultimate Death, Devin Andrews for the 2KCW Championship. Here are folks with our next matchup for the 2KCW Heavyweight Championship. It is Ultimate Death finally getting his opportunity at the championship that he's waited so long for. For those who don't remember, Ultimate Death defeated the former champion Eric Anderson when he was the champion. So essentially he was getting first crack at whoever was the champion post Girls Grand Prix. And that would turn out to be Devin Andrews. And of course, we went on hiatus, and Death has been abiding his time preparing for this match against Devin Andrews. We've seen Andrews only defend the title once before, and that was against Eric Anderson after he won the title. Of course, to be interrupted by, Ken, by debuting Kendrick Gore. And I have been told that he, that Kendrick Gore is not present in the building tonight. So we don't have to expect any kind of interference. At least I sincerely hope not. Ultimate Death has won over 50 different championships across his career in the States, Canada, and Mexico. traveled veteran finally getting his break here in 2KCW and that break may only be a little bit longer if the champ has anything to say about it Devin Andrews the heavyweight champion here in 2KCW He defeated Eric Anderson at the Girls Grand Prix. 
to win that championship. Devin's also been making his own appearances over in General Mission Wrestling as part of the Academy. With his brother Kurt Andrews, a former Academy champion there. So seemingly the world belongs to Devin Andrews. We're just privileged enough to live in it. Devin Andrews prepares to defend his championship here in mere moments. championship on the line prestigious history of that title there we go bells underway overhand rights from Andrews focusing on the upper collarbone of death death trying to fire back here with strikes Andrews fall away slam to his challenger Oh, right to the abdomen, the chest of ultimate death. This will be another feather in the cap of Devin Andrews if he can knock off ultimate death here. Arm trapped and wrenching on the other, like a wishbone. Jawbreaker there by Death. Into a hurricane run, a takedown. Taking the champ off his feet, at least for the moment anyway. Right hand by Death, Andrews counters off the ropes into a standing drop kick, beautifully done. And even a bow just to put a little stank on it. I probably shouldn't say that while Devin Andrews in the ring, but I digress. Busting grab here by Andrews, Death trying to inch towards the ropes and referee in the way but he's able to escape and death with a neck breaker over the knee and just grabbing Andrews by his ears and goes for a Uranagi a slam of sorts off the ropes and going for kicks three times the charm 4 4. They're going to the well too many times. Andrews going for the waistlock control. Death. Oh my god. Andrews just slapping him. Andrews. Springboard drop kick. Andrews putting a lot of athleticism on display here. There's the kiss to canvas. Cover here to retain the title. No, not yet. Says ultimate death. Andrews. Gonna get in something going here. Slam. Just a not even a full slam, just a toss. Now Andrews going for May have been the final judgment, but reverse DDT there by Death. Big opportunity here for Ultimate Death to capitalize. And he's going to do so. Death going up to the middle. Turnbuckle. Going for the fist drop. Thought he was going to go for the crossbones. Not quite yet. Hooks the far leg. Only a one count from Andrews. Grabs him up by the head and a head. Looks like a headlock driver. There from Ultimate Death and he goes for it again. Face first goes Andrews. Tyab and Devin easily winning that exchange into the power stand position. Death getting dropped on top of the top rope. Death trying to find a way to get back in this. 
There he goes for a standing Uranagi. Into the cover to possibly win the championship here. No, Andrews kicks out. Death knows what he has to go for. He's going to go for the crossbones, but he's going for another Uranagi. To Devin now. Death is in the driver's seat. Takes the leg out underneath. Andrews. Death going for the cross bones. To Devin Andrews. Will this be enough for Death to pick up the victory? To win the championship here too. Andrews barely gets the shoulder up at 2.9. Oh my god, now Death spitting the red mist. Back body drop by Andrews. So what Andrews is looking for here, maybe looking for the the blackout maybe. Great like throat punch by Death. Goes into the cover. Yet again kick out by Andrews. That's right, trying to pick up the dead weight of Andrews. Andrews with a monkey flip. Never seen that out of his arsenal before. That's certainly unique. And death is in the wrong part of town. Andrews, knife edge chop. Again, trying to get something going in the corner. Not able to succeed yet. And now Andrew's been busted open, cover here by Death. The capitalizing situation kick out by Andrews. Comes there by Andrews. And he goes for a kiss the canvas yet again. Rolls him back into the cover to retain the title here. Yes, Andrews. Retains his championship with the kiss the canvas. We're gonna take a look at the replay. There's the first kiss the canvas that surprisingly was not the end of the match there that Death was able to kick out. Several times it looked like maybe Andrews was going for the fists of judgment in the corner, but was not able to succeed. And you can see that Andrews was busted open there. Oh man, now now Andrews is wearing the wounds of battle here against Ultimate Death. And they always say they always that you're always leaving your part of yourself in the ring. And that's exactly what Andrews did here. Putting his life on the line against ultimate death. Maybe his life is a little bit of an exaggerated term there, but you're always on risk when you're stepping between those ropes. And Andrews is the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event, the Women's Championship, on the line. Don't go anywhere. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, our main event for the 2KCW Women's Championship. Tina Green winning a Battle Royal last week to face Dizzy Jet for the championship here. Tina Green eliminating handful of competitors in that battle royal and she's not being accompanied by her best friend Tori Crawford obviously they want to do things by themselves sometimes you don't always have to have backup with you everywhere you go it's a big singles opportunity 
Or just a big opportunity in general for Tia Green if she can knock off the undefeated champion Dizzy Jet here at Field of Bang. And speaking of Dizzy Jet, there she is, folks, the women's champion. competitor to go undefeated for the whole 2021 season which is a huge feat in of itself a big accomplishment for Dizzy Jet I'm told that that continues here in 2022 one of the bright young stars that we have here in 2KCW and she's looking to I hope that she continues to make an impact no matter where she goes the first ever women's champion in 2KCW. It's a lot of accolades for that young lady. So here we go, women's title on the line in our main event. Our first Big event for 2022. And here we go. Green and Jet. Collar and elbow tie up. Jet getting the advantage. The strength advantage here against Tia Green. So we get a clean break between the two. We do. Not for long though. Running clothesline into the corner. And Jet going to work on Green. Leg kick countered into a dragon screw takedown from Green. And taking your eye off Jet, that's something you don't want to do. Roll throw DDT by Dizzy. May have been a very costly mistake there for Tia Green. And cover here by Dizzy to retain the title. No. Still way too early. Uppercut by Jet. Jet blocked. Tossed by Green. Now Green just kicking the face of Jet. to the cover thing is that she's done enough no way in hell especially when you're coming up here against Dizzy Jet into the corner green with a running knee right into the abdomen now series of kicks of her own Jet with a running drop kick blocked green now just teeing up and now into like a straight jacket position here Seated straight jacket, driving the knee into the middle of the back of Jet. Dizzy just trying to get up onto her feet. And there she goes, releasing the grip by Green. Into the corner. Back elbow by Green. And now Green going out for the dude at Buster really early here. This will be enough to put away Dizzy Jet. No. That could have been it right there, folks. That's just as easy as that to pull out your finisher from out of nowhere. As I say, it only takes three seconds to win a match and win a championship. Dizzy with the race, wrist lock control. Green able to escape. Seems like for everything that Dizzy is throwing at Green, that Green has an answer for. You know, Jack getting fed turnbuckle pad animal style. And 
to the cover here by Green to win the title. No. And to think also the women that Dizzy Jet have defeated. She's defeated Candice LeRae in the finals of the Girls Grand Prix. And then she's even defeated Beth Phoenix in her own hometown of Elmira. And there she goes for the the, the, the the disc track, Dizzy Jet out of nowhere with the disc track, rolling into the cover to retain her championship. Green kicks out. Dizzy Jet has done a lot here in her run here in 2KCW series of clotheslines. Now into the corner, Dizzy coming in hot with a European uppercut. Tia Green double axe out of the back of the, between the shoulders. Jet trying to get momentum building here to retain her title. Maybe going for the diss track again. Green caught the leg for outside leg of her own. Now Green with a power bomb, jackknife cover. I don't think that's gonna be enough to put away Dizzy. Wait a minute, what? Tia Green. Tia Green pulling out the upset here. And it's just won the women's championship. Much of the surprises of everyone here. Tia Green's the women's champion. That's the what? Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to keep in, we'll let you know what's going on, but Tia Green's the one that's champion.